everybody, welcome back to uh, Bertie Bodget. Um, bit cold outside, I'm going to go out and do some more work on the uh, CPI later today, all being well. But uh, while we're waiting for the uh, weather to warm up a bit, I thought I would uh, have a look at this um, multi tool that I've just bought. Um, it's an 8 in 1 wrench. Um, they had them at Aldi last year and I went to get one and they sold out very quickly and uh, they just come back into stock so I've been out and I've grabbed one um, Work Zone is the manufacturer, never heard of it, we're not exactly talking snap on here uh, 9.99 um, from the middle aisle at uh, Lidl or yeah, no Aldi, a little middle aisle at Aldi uh, or you can order it on the Aldi website and pay 2 95 PMP. So uh, we'll get this open. We'll have a look what it is. I, th I think this is going to turn out to be a very useful tool. And I will tell you why very shortly. So we'll start off by getting this uh, impossible to remove plastic shite off. There we have it. Now, it feels heavy and it actually feels good quality. Um, the chrome looks fantastic on it. Um, it's a double ended ratchet, as you can see. Um, what I like about it is, it is the versatility. It is uh, 8mm. 12mm, 10mm, 13mm, 17mm, 21mm, 14mm, 19mm. It's all of those sizes, but it's all of those sizes without you having to change anything out. It's there. You just pick it up and it's that size. That's why I think it's good. Now, the way it works, um, let's take this one here for example, that's 8mm. So we go to this end, 8mm. There it is in the middle there. Put that on. 8mm. Now, in, uh, surrounding that 8mm is a 13mm. Now, you don't have to change nothing because if you have a look, that middle bit is spring loaded. And if I press on it, as you can see, I don't know how well that's going to come out on the camera, but it goes down. So if you then done your 8mm up, you now switch over and the next one is a 13mm. Don't do anything, you just put that on, push against that spring loading, that's actually 12 actually, it was 13, there's 13. You push against that spring loaded bit and then it pushes that inner one down and then you've got the 13mm. Again, um, same thing, what's that one? That's 17mm uh, I think. Yeah, that's the inner one on that as we can see so um, to reverse the ratchet got a switch on the side there so flip the switch and I know this is this is oldie crap but this really does feel damn good quality I mean time will tell I'm going to use this I'm going to use this a lot and and you will see me using it in future videos because when I want a few spanners to do a quick job, I'll go into me shade and I'll pick up the 13 and the 12. No, not anymore. Just pick that up. I've got the bloody lot then, anyway. I? Um, if I am going to criticise it, and it's a very minor thing, but that, that plastic handle in the middle is like rock hard plastic. It's not, it doesn't feel good to get hold of. But then having said that, I think you're going to be using it on the ends, aren't you? So there you go. All in one, so one, two, three, four, eight, eight spanners in that one thing. And 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 you know, if it if it's rubbish, I'll let you know. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not big enough to be sponsored. I went to Aldi and bought this. Um 
if it's good I'll tell you it's good if it's a pile of shit I'll tell you it's a pile of shit but initial impressions mega pleased with that I mean can you imagine you're out on your bike throw that under your seat you've got a fistful of spanners there for minor roadside repairs in that one thing a tenner what is there not to like ok guys just thought you might like to see that thank you very much and we'll uh, catch you later cheers